Hey guys, in this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this cinematic title animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So without wasting any time, let's straight away jump into After Effects and get started. Now as a content creator, I am always looking for tools to level up my game and recently I came across an amazing tool called Wondershare Unique Converter, an all-in-one tool that's a game changer for creators. Usually when I create videos for my clients, the file size are quite huge and obviously we cannot send such huge files to clients, especially when we are working on a project back and forth. So by using Unique Converter's video compressor, you can compress your videos into smaller file size without much quality loss which you can then email or WhatsApp your client. Whether you need to convert videos to 1000 formats, compress 4K 8K videos with minimal quality loss or edit and enhance your content with AI powered tools, Wondershare Unique Converter has got you covered. Unique Converter boasts ultra fast conversion speeds, letting you convert your videos up to 90 times faster without sacrificing in quality because of its GPU acceleration. The interface is also quite clean and intuitive. Just drag and drop your files. Choose a desired format and hit convert. It's that simple. But wait, there's more. Uni Converter also packs a suite of video editing tools. You can trim, crop or add subtitles and even add AI powered effects to effortlessly enhance your videos. From newbies to pros, Wondershare Uni Converter makes managing and enhancing your video content like a breeze. Click the link in the description to get started with Wondershare Uni Converter today. Now let's get back to today's video. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's call this render as our main render comp. I'm going with 2560 by 1440. That is 2K. You can of course go with full HD or 4K if you want to. Frame rate is set to 30 FPS and duration is set to 10 seconds. Press OK. Then I'll create a new composition again called this text with the same exact properties. Press OK. Select the text tool and type in whatever text that you want. I'm going to type in majestic just like like you saw in the example and for the font we want to use a really nice and thick font so we can go with akira expand it you can download the font from the link in the description below let's fix the spelling all right we can align this into the center and now we can add a subtle animation to this text so we can go into the text properties go into animate and let's add a tracking let's zoom in into a timeline i'll go to around three seconds Create a keyframe on the tracking amount, go at the very start and set this to around 30 should be fine. So now we have this simple animation. Let's select the keyframes. You can press F9 to easy ease them or go into keyframe assistant and easy ease. Then go into the graph editor, right click and make sure you're working in the edit speed graph. Select this point and let's drag this holding shift like so and this one like so. So now we have something which looks like this pretty nice now let's add some nice reflection to our text so to do that i'll create a new composition called this uh, reflection map so we need to create a reflection map to drive the reflection in the textures i have a reflection map by the way you can download the free project file from the link in the description below and if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like as well so let's add the reflection map and i'm going to scale this up a little bit so it fits our composition like so now let's go ahead and animate it. So I'll select the layer, go into effects and presets and search for offset. Double click to apply that. And then we can animate the shift center too. So I'll go maybe somewhere around here, create a keyframe, go to one second and let's drag this back. Okay. Press U so we can see the keyframes. Again, we can press F9 or easy ease them. Go into the graph and add the same curve just like we did before. So now we have something like this, maybe a bit more to the left. All right, let's again add the offset. And now after this fast animation, I want a continuous movement to this texture. So we can create a keyframe on the shift center too. We go all the way up to 10 seconds and let's move this like so. So now we have a fast animation and then a continuous movement, which looks really nice. I think I'm going to make it a bit more faster. Okay, so that is looking fine. 
let's add some turbulent displays on this we can drag and drop it like so set the amount to 250 and for the size we can go with 135 let's also bring down the sharpness a little bit by adding a fast box blur effect and let's set this to around 10 so our reflection map is ready let's preview this and yeah right now it looks pretty weird but as soon as we use this layer as a map things are going to make some sense here now let's create another new composition called this uh, text reflection and press ok add the reflection map and on top of that i'll add the text let's toggle switch to bring up the blending modes and the track mat so i'll change the track mat of the reflection map to text so now we have this really nice reflection make sure the reflection map composition is selected and go into effects and presets and let's add a cc glass effect go into the surface and set the bump map to text and now we can start getting these nice details here let's set this to luminance and bring this up to around 35 should be fine and bring this down to minus 30 also let's increase the displacement to 370 so it's a bit more intense and then to enhance the effect let's add a cc blobby lies go into the blobbiness set this to text and let's leave it at lightness bring down the softness to 10 10 should be fine and let's leave the cutaway to 25 that's fine and now you can see we have this really nice reflection on our text which gives a nice 3d dimension feel and look to our flat text so it's a really cool technique to add some nice um, you know depth into the text and make make it look a bit more cinematic let's add a levels effect i'm going to adjust these a little bit i want to bring up the blacks a little like so let's set the gamma to maybe around 1.5 should be fine yeah I'll adjust the output white a little bit, something like that. Okay, so here we have it looking pretty nice. Now let's add some nice texture to our reflection. So to do that, I'll create a new composition again called this uh, reflection texture. Press OK and drag the text reflection composition just like that and on top of this i will be adding some nice texture that is again provided with the free project file so first i'll add the metal texture just like so we can bring down the size if we want to somewhere around there and change the blend mode of this to overlay all right and then make sure to turn on the transparency grid layer so that the texture only affects the text below it and not the background and now you can see we have this really nice texture added to our text which is looking very nice this adds some nice detail to the text and on top of this i'll also add the grand texture with the same overlay blend mode and turn this on as well so this will add another level of detail which you can see looks pretty good okay so that is looking really nice let's also change the color of this composition so this is the reflection texture i'm going to make this red just so that we know and we don't get messed up between all these composition now let's create that nice light sweep that you saw that fiery orange light sweep and creating that is also very easy let's create a new composition called this light press ok i'm going to select the rectangle tool and let's create a shape like so all right and i can align this and then right here click on fill and then we get four different options i'm going to go with the gradient one press ok Go into rectangle one gradient fill and click on edit gradient let's create a new point in the center and let's make this one black so now we have a nice gradient point i can zoom in and let's drag it like so and then drag this point like so okay so that is looking fine for now let's animate this really quick so i'll go to around one second and 15 frames i think that should be fine select it press p to bring down the position i'll place it somewhere around here create a keyframe go back and then pull this up just like so select the keyframes easy ease them go into the graph editor and then create the same curve just like we did before something like this and then i can just rename this call this light and then we can right click and add a new adjustment layer called this a displace 
and um, go into effects and presets search for turbulent displacement double click to apply that let's bring up the amount to 70 and bring down the size to 70 as well this should be fine and we can animate the evolution so we can simply add a simple expression hold alt and click on the stopwatch of the evolution time in times times 200 so now we have this really nice evolution going on okay that is fine maybe increase the size a little bit to around 150 now let's add this light to our text so i'll create a new composition again call this light text press ok and drop the text composition and on top of that i'll add the light composition that we just created actually put this below and change the blend mode of this to add and change the track mat to text so now you can see it affects the text just like that and then right here i think i'll adjust the position of the light a little bit so i'll select this press u so we can see the keyframe and let's pull this up until it's visible on our text a little bit yeah something like that it's way too much so let's bring that down very subtle there we go so it animates and then it stays just like that now let's turn this light into a proper reflective light on our text so let's select the composition or the layer go into effects and presets and we can search for cc glass or we can actually go back into our reflection map and just copy these two effects from here that is the cc glass and the blobby lights Control c and paste it on light like so so now we can see we have something like this which looks quite weird but don't worry we will fix this so first of all let's go into the surface and set this to text let's go into blobby lies and set this to text as well then bring down the displacement of the glass to around 90 should be fine so yeah that looks much better you can see pretty cool okay maybe i'll move the light a little bit up so that it's not visible at the start there we go i think the wiggle or the um, expression that we added on the displacement evolution ex uh, expression is a bit too fast so let's bring that down to around 100 so that looks much nice and subtle yeah that is looking much better i think and in the cc blobbiness cutaway i'll set this to 40. So that's looking really nice. Let's also give it a nice color. So we can go into effects and presets, search for tint effect, double click to apply that, and let's give it a nice orange color. So that is looking really nice, I think. Make sure to change the property of blobbiness to luminance. Yeah, that is fine. Now let's add some texture to our light as well. So let's create another new composition called this light text texture add the light text composition right here so there we go and then on top of that we can simply copy paste these textures Control c Control v now you can see we get these kind of issues so to fix this what we can do is select the uh, light text layer go into effects and presets search for curves effect double click to apply that go to alpha and let's create a point like so and this will help us get rid of those nd aliasing issues just need to be a bit precise here and yeah there we go looking pretty nice there we go now let's go ahead and assemble the complete uh, scene so let's go into our main render composition press ctrl y to create a new background call this bg and make sure it's black press ok Add the reflection texture composition and on top of that i'll add the light text texture let's make this red so that we know these two are the main compositions and change the blend mode of this one to add so now we have something like this which looks really cool as you can see and let's also give it a simple opacity animation of around 10 frames so let's go to 10 frames 
select both of these layers, press T, create a keyframe, get the very start, set this to zero. So we have something like this. So that's done. We have a few assets that we can use. So first of all, let's add some smoke on top. Change the blend mode of this to, I think let's go with screen. Bring down the size like so and also bring down the opacity to 45 or 40 should be fine some nice smoke going on in the background pretty cool let's also add some background spark and set this to add and also bring down the scale to 70 and i'll also add a background light leak change this to screen and bring that down to 70 as well Now what I'm going to do is move these two layers a little forward in time, somewhere around here. So that the light leak appears when the orange light comes into the scene. So something like that. Looks really cool. One thing that we can do is, I think it's a way too intense. The shine is way too intense of the light texture that we created. Light text composition and add a fast blur on this. Let's place it on top of the blobby lies and set this to around 10 should be fine. And then go back into our main render comp, select the light text texture, bring down the opacity a little bit like around somewhere around 60 should be fine. So we have this really nice reflection going on. And there we go. There we have our cinematic title animation inside of After Effects without using a single plugin. Now, if you enjoy these kind of cinematic advanced title animation, then you should definitely check out my complete playlist dedicated to text animation. Link in the description below. With that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.